hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Windows application how to transfer the selected items from one checker list box to another checker list box and here we got the output now I'm selecting the individual items Java C sharp Java C sharp and Windows application I have selected three items from this checker list box one now I want to transfer button click see the selected items are transferred to checklist box 2 now I want to select all the items in the checklist box 1 for that I am using the button 2 it selected all the items then I am transferring now I am selecting the items from checklist box 2 C sharp JavaScript so here the items are transferred into the check checklist box 1. Now let's select all the items in the checklist box 2 and transfer those items into the checklist box 1. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the Windows template, I'm selecting Windows Forms application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Transfer Checker List Box Items. Click OK. And the application is created successfully. Let's expand this form on design page. Now in this form on design page, I am adding two checklist box controls, open toolbox. In all form windows, there is a checklist box, add that one. It's the first checklist box. Control C and Control V. We'll add the second checklist box control. Let's expand this checklist box. So after that, Highlight the checklist box one. Uh, notice there is a small button which is a checklist box task. Click that one. Edit items. I'm adding some items in this checklist box. The items are uh, the courses I'm adding: Java, JavaScript, ASP.NET, C Sharp, MVC, Windows application click OK after adding some items to this checklist box one now let's add some button controls open toolbox the button control the first button control press F4 the text I'm changing to arrow and I'm adding the font is bold Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'm changing the text to double arrow. The third button F four. And the last one. And the last button. that's it we have done the designing part now the first button control the selected items from the checklist box control will transfer from checklist box 1 to checklist box 2 and the second button control it select all the checklist box items after that we can transfer to the checklist box 2 let's write the coding part I'm selecting double click the button click 1 now in this button click event I'm adding the functionality to select the individual items from the checklist box one for that I'm using for each loop for each loop the string I'm creating an object check items in checklist box one which is the ID of the checklist box dot check items dot the items I am checking the type of items of type 
Is this swing time? Dot to list method. Now in this for each loop, the selected checkbox items I am transferring from checklist box 1 to checklist box 2. So let's add the checklist box 2 dot items dot add. I am adding this object check items. semicolon after that I want to remove the, those items from the checklist box 1 checklist box 1 dot items dot remove method in this remove method I am adding this object check items now the next condition is now the second button control I want to select all the checkbox list controls in the checklist box 1 then I want to transfer into this checklist box 2. So double click that button 2. To select all the items in a checklist box, I am using for loop. For, I am counting the items int i is equals to 0, i is less than checklist box 1 dot items dot count i plus plus. After counting how many items are present in the checkbox list using for loop, then I am selecting those items. So checklist box one dot set item check. The item checker method takes two parameters. The first one is the index. So i is equals to zero means is a first item, comma, and the boolean value. I'm adding two. Two means it selected all the items. That's it. Now let's write the third one. Now the third button, I'm transferring the items from checklist box two to checklist box one. So instead of writing the same code, the for each loop in the button one, I'm copying that button one code and pasting here. And wherever I have a checklist box one. I'm changing to checklist box 2. 1 and 2. Now the fourth one is to select all the items from the checklist box. So instead of writing the same code here, let's add here. Just instead of checklist box 1, add 2. Checklist box 2. That's it. We have done the coding part. Now it's time to check the results. Start. And here we got the output. Now I'm selecting the individual items Java, C Sharp, Java, C Sharp, and Windows application. I have selected three items from this checklist box one. Now I want to transfer button click. See the selected items are transferred to checklist box two. Now I want to select all the items in the checklist box one. For that I am using the button two. It selected all the items, then I'm transferring. Now I'm selecting the items from checklist box 2, C sharp, JavaScript. So here the items are transferred into the check checklist box 1. Now let's select all the items in the checklist box 2 and transfer those items into the checklist box 1. That's it.